An 11-year-old boy is wheeled down the corridor toward the operating theater. Doctors, nurses, and other patients line the walls, and as he passes, they bow in respect. The reason why will leave you in shock. The wheels of the gurney squeaked against the polished floor as Lang Yayoi was rushed through the bustling corridors of the Shenzhen Children's Hospital. A whirlwind of white coats and concerned faces swirled around him. Their urgency was palpable. Yet, amid the chaos, Liang's face remained a portrait of tranquility. His eyelids fluttered gently as if he were merely lost in a peaceful dream. The heart monitor attached to his small chest beeped rhythmically. Around him, the energy was frantic. Doctors and nurses exchanged hush whispers. Their eyes darted between Liang and the grim reports clutched in their hands. A brain tumor, they had said. Aggressive and relentless. The options were few. Liang's parents crumbled. Their world shattered into a million pieces. The medical jargon blurred into a meaningless drone. Words like inoperable and terminal pierced through the fog. Liang, as young as he was, sensed the gravity of the situation. He saw the anguish etched on his parents' faces in the fear that clouded their eyes. Still, he remained remarkably composed. He absorbed the information and processed it with a maturity beyond his years. The days following the diagnosis were filled with a carousel of tests, scans, and consultations. Liang endured it all with stoic resilience. His spirit remained unbroken, and his mind swirled with thoughts. One day, Liang called his parents to his bedside. His request stunned them into silence. Mama? Papa? I want to donate my organs when I go to heaven. His parents were speechless. Their hearts swelled with pride, but, of course, it brought heartbreak too. Liang explained his reasoning. He had learned about organ donation at school. Now, the thought of helping others even after his passing resonated with him. He spoke of giving the gift of life and of bringing hope to families facing similar tragedies. Liang's maturity and compassion were awe-inspiring. He faced his mortality with courage and found a way to turn his impending loss into a beacon of hope for others. Liang's selfless wish rippled outwards. His parents were buoyed by a newfound purpose. Their son's extraordinary maturity and compassion rekindled a flicker of hope within them. They clung to Liang's wish as a lifeline. The medical staff at the hospital were also deeply moved by the boy's decision. Doctors wiped away tears. Nurses discovered a renewed sense of meaning in their work. Liang's unwavering spirit reminded them of the precious nature of life and the profound impact they could have on their patients and their families. But within the hospital's bustling corridors, a cast of characters were drawn into Liang's orbit. Dr. Chen was a seasoned physician with a reputation for skepticism. He'd initially questioned Liang's motives. He had witnessed countless tragedies, and the concept of a child so readily accepting his fate seemed inconceivable. Yet, as he spent time with Liang and observed his unwavering spirit and genuine desire to help others, Dr. Chen's doubts gradually dissolved. Nurse Mei was a compassionate caregiver with a gentle touch. She became Liang's confidant. She spent countless hours by his bedside, listening to his dreams, fears, and hopes. Liang's infectious optimism and unwavering belief in the power of kindness touched Nurse Mei deeply. She became Liang's advocate and ensured that his wishes were respected and his voice heard. Meanwhile, Mr. Lin, the hospital administrator, grappled with the ethical implications of Liang's wish. He was accustomed to dealing with complex medical decisions, but the prospect of a child donating his organs raised unprecedented questions. Mr. Lin sought guidance from legal experts, ethicists, and religious leaders. He had to navigate a maze of regulations and moral considerations. In the end, he found solace in Liang's unwavering determination and the overwhelming support from his family. As Liang's story unfolded, these individuals, along with countless others, found themselves drawn into a web of emotions and ethical dilemmas. They were challenged to re-examine their beliefs, confront their fears, and ultimately embrace the transformative power of Liang's selfless wish. The boy's presence in the hospital was like a ray of sunshine piercing through storm clouds. His laughter echoed through the hallways. 
His smile brightened the faces of everyone he encountered. His unwavering optimism and infectious joy transformed the sterile hospital environment into a place of hope and healing. Patients found solace in his unwavering spirit. They were drawn to his bedside, eager to hear his stories, share their own experiences, and bask in the warmth of his genuine empathy. Children especially gravitated towards Liang. Their faces lit up as he shared jokes and offered words of encouragement. Doctors and nurses, often weary from the daily grind of their demanding profession, found themselves re-energized by his infectious enthusiasm. They marveled at his ability to find joy in the simplest of things. Miles away, in another hospital ward, eight-year-old Hua lay quietly. Her tiny body was connected to a labyrinth of tubes and wires. Her heart, weakened by a congenital defect, struggled to pump life-sustaining blood through her fail frame. Hua's parents kept a constant vigil by her bedside. Their hopes were pinned on the possibility of a heart transplant. Hua had been on the transplant waiting list for months. Her condition deteriorated with each passing day. The little girl's once vibrant spirit now flickered faintly, dimmed by constant pain and fatigue. Yet, she clung to the hope that a miracle would happen. Everything hinged on a donor heart. That would be her only chance to live a full and healthy life. But her story was not unique. Across the country, countless children like Hua waited anxiously for organ transplants. All their lives hung in the balance. There was a severe shortage of organ donors. Hua's parents shared their daughter's story with the media in the hope of inspiring others to consider becoming donors. Their efforts resonated with the public and sparked a wave of support and renewed interest in organ donation. As fate would have it, Hua's story would soon intersect with Liang's, and their paths would converge in a way that would forever change their lives and the lives of countless others. Time once seemed like a boundless expanse. Now, it trickled through the Liang household like sand through an hourglass. Each grain was precious, a fleeting moment to be cherished. Liang's parents made a conscious decision to fill their remaining time with love, laughter, and unforgettable memories. The hospital room became a sanctuary of shared experiences. And despite his declining health, Liang remained the heart and soul of the family. He regaled his parents with tales from school, and his vivid imagination could transform mundane events into epic adventures. He shared his dreams for the future. When he did, his eyes sparkled with unwavering optimism. He expressed his gratitude for the love and support that surrounded him. As the days grew shorter, Liang's energy waned, but his spirit remained indomitable. He insisted on celebrating his 10th birthday with a small gathering of family and friends. The hospital room was transformed into a festive haven filled with balloons, laughter, and the sweet aroma of his favorite cake. Liang blew out the candles. His wish was a silent prayer for the happiness of those he held dear. In the quiet moments when the pain became unbearable, Liang found solace in his mother's gentle embrace. He would rest his head on her shoulder and draw strength from her love. They would talk about everything and nothing. Their conversations were a lifeline in the face of impending loss. Liang's final days were a testament to the enduring power of love, hope, and the human spirit. He taught those around him how to live fully in the face of adversity, how to cherish every moment, and how to find meaning in the simple joys of life. Even as his body weakened, he refused to succumb to despair. The young boy chose instead to embrace each day with unwavering optimism. When his body grew too weak to leave his bed, Liang embarked on imaginary adventures. His mind conjured up fantastical worlds where he could run, jump, and play to his heart's content. He shared these adventures with his parents. His eyes sparkled with excitement as he described soaring through the clouds on the back of a dragon or exploring hidden underwater caves. Then came the most touching turn of events. An unexpected connection was forged between two brave souls facing a similarly daunting challenge. Through a foundation dedicated to organ donation, Liang's parents learned about Hua, the young girl awaiting a heart transplant. Touched by her story, they reached out to Hua's family and shared Liang's wish. A virtual meeting was arranged. The two children connected through the wonders of technology. 
Liang was severely weakened by his illness, but he mustered all his energy to speak to Hua. His smile, as faint as it was, radiated warmth and encouragement as he spoke to her. Hello, Hua, he said with a soft voice. I heard you're waiting for a new heart. I know it's hard, but don't give up hope. Remember, you're strong and brave, and you have so much to live for. Hua's eyes were wide with wonder. She listened intently as Liang shared his own story. He spoke of his illness, his decision to donate his organs, and his unwavering belief in the power of hope. His words were filled with empathy and compassion and resonated deeply with Hua. The two kids formed an instant bond and their shared experiences transcended physical boundaries. They exchanged stories, shared their dreams, and offered each other words of encouragement. In that virtual space, a lifeline of hope was extended, connecting two souls facing uncertain futures. Just as Liang and Hua's friendship blossomed, a sudden turn of events cast a shadow over their newfound hope. Liang's condition unexpectedly took a turn for the worse. A routine checkup revealed a rapid progression of the tumor. Its insidious tendrils were now encroaching upon vital areas of his brain. Panic rippled through the hospital. Doctors and nurses sprang into action. A flurry of tests and consultations confirmed their worst fears. Liang's time was running out. The news devastated his parents. The medical team was accustomed to life or death situations, but they found themselves grappling with a profound sense of urgency and helplessness. They had grown fond of Liang. His infectious optimism and unwavering spirit left an indelible mark on their hearts. Hua's parents had been cautiously optimistic about the possibility of a transplant, but they were also deeply affected by Liang's sudden decline. And when the boy passed away a few days later, they too wept for a bright light snuffed out too soon. His family cried silently at his bedside. His mother refused to let go of his tiny hand. But there was no time to waste, not if they wanted to make Liang's last wish come true. It was time to harvest the boy's organs and donate them to the people who needed them. A hushed silence filled the corridors as the medical team prepared for the delicate procedure. Liang's small body was dwarfed by the hospital bed. His face was etched with a serenity that belied the gravity of the situation. His parents' eyes were swollen from weeping. They held his hands and whispered words of love and encouragement they hoped he could still hear in the afterlife. As he was wheeled through the hospital corridor, a hush fell over the bustling environment. Word of his passing had spread. Staff members, patients, and visitors alike lined the walls. Their faces showed sorrow, admiration, and hope. Then, in a spontaneous gesture of profound respect, a single doctor bowed his head. The movement was subtle yet deliberate. It ignited a chain reaction. One by one, the medical staff lining the corridor followed suit. Their heads bowed in unison. The scene was both poignant and breathtaking. Nurses with eyes brimming with tears bowed deeply. They clasped their hands in prayer. Doctors' faces were etched with sorrow and admiration. They lowered their heads in silent tribute. Even the hospital administrators, typically reserved and stoic, bowed in humble acknowledgement of Liang's extraordinary spirit. The gesture was powerful evidence of the impact this 11-year-old boy had made on the hospital community. In that single moment, the sterile walls of the medical institution melted away. In their place was a remarkable sense of shared humanity, compassion, and gratitude. Liang had unknowingly united a diverse group of individuals in a shared moment of reverence and respect. The waiting room became a crucible of shared anxiety as family and friends gathered to share the worry and silent prayers. In the operating room, a hush fell over the surgical team as they gathered around Liang. Each medical professional was a seasoned veteran in their field, and, without exception, they were struck by a profound sense of awe and reverence. Liang's tiny body was frail yet resilient. The boy embodied a spirit of selflessness that transcended age and experience. The surgeon's hands were steady from years of practice. They performed their intricate tasks with a newfound delicacy. Their movements played a silent symphony of respect. The nurses tended to Liang with unwavering care. Their every touch was a tribute to his extraordinary courage. A shared understanding filled the room. 
It was a silent acknowledgement of the profound impact this young boy had made on their lives. A few hours later, a parallel drama unfolded in another hospital. A heart, beating with the rhythm of a young hero, was carefully transported to Wa's bedside. A team of skilled surgeons worked tirelessly to transplant the precious gift into the frail body of the young girl. Hours turned into an agonizing eternity for Hua's parents as they waited anxiously for news. Their daughter's life hung in the balance. Her fragile body clung to the last vestiges of hope. Then, a wave of relief washed over them as the surgeon emerged from the operating room. He had a weary but triumphant smile on his face. The surgery was a success, he announced. His voice was filled with emotion. Hua has a new heart, a strong and healthy heart. Tears of joy streamed down the faces of Hua's parents. They embraced each other, and their hearts overflowed with gratitude. The news of Hua's successful transplant reverberated through both hospitals. It was a bittersweet symphony of loss and triumph. Liang's sacrifice had given another child a chance to live. His legacy of love and generosity was now forever intertwined with the life he had saved. The story of Lang Weiyoi transcended borders and captivated hearts around the world. News outlets worldwide shared his story. Each headline was a poignant reminder of his extraordinary act of kindness. It wasn't his tragic illness that ended up shocking the world. It was his selflessness in the face of his impending demise. His desire to donate his organs, to offer life even as his own slipped away, resonated deeply. In China, his story became a national phenomenon that inspired countless others to consider organ donation. Schools incorporated his story into their curriculum, teaching children about compassion and the power of giving. Liang became an enduring symbol of hope and humanity. The international media was equally captivated, and his story graced the pages of renowned publications. His face beamed from television screens, and his name was whispered in hushed tones of admiration. He became a symbol of the universal language of kindness that transcended cultural and linguistic barriers. Next, social media platforms amplified his story. Millions shared his image in words, ensuring his legacy reached every corner of the globe. He became a viral sensation, not for fleeting fame, but for a cause that touched the very core of human compassion. The Liang Yayoi effect, as it is known, expanded into the West at a rate of knots, in many countries, the discussion around organ donation started happening with renewed vigor. This can be a touchy subject, yet the story of this little boy seemed to naturally dissolve barriers and get people to open their hearts. After Liang's life slipped away on that fateful day and was quickly infused inside other bodies, humanity is looking at organ donation with new eyes. There is an increased awareness and a greater understanding of its importance. The long-term impact of Liang's donation is immeasurable. The lives he saved through his organs are a powerful gift. But perhaps even more significant is the ripple effect he created. Liang single-handedly inspired a generation of doctors who continue to carry on his legacy of compassion and generosity. What a bittersweet ending! Do you have a story about the impact organ donation can make in the lives of so many? Tell us about it in the comments. We'd love to hear. For now, though, we're out of here. Catch you in the next video.